Hello, I'm Raymond Mayfield, and I'm really glad to be back with you today. God is so good to us, and I'm glad to be able to come and share with you these videos. Uh, you can find me at RaymondMayfield.com, and all my videos that I post are listed there, and uh, we appreciate you listening to every one of them. I want to talk to you about Revelation chapter 5 today and continue my sequence of messages. It says in the very first verse, I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written therein, and on the back side of it sealed with seven seals. In verse 2 it says, I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open this book and to loose the seals thereof? And John, the beloved John, wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. Our destiny is not in the hands of any man here on this earth today. With all of our technological advancements, with all of our medical advancements, and with all the knowledge we have in the world, we are still dependent upon God because God created us and He gave us our creativity and thank God for His wonderful power today. With all our advances, we need God. And with John, he wept much that no man could open the book. And that's something that I, I think about a lot. No man was could open the book. But let's just wait a minute now. And verse 5 says, one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not, the line of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seals thereof. The elders in verse 5 represent all believers. All believers are those that are worst in the blood of the Lamb. The line of the, the, line of the tribe of Judah, of course, is Jesus Christ. And I beheld a low in the midst of the throne, and the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb, as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God. Don't allow the term beast bother you when you're reading the book of Revelation, because these are just the angels of God. Seven is God's number. The lamb slain with Jesus Christ, who died on the cross. Aren't you glad for Jesus today? He lives forever, and He makes intercessions for you. Jesus loves you today. He loves you so much uh, that He gave His life for you on the cross. Will you not reciprocate and receive Jesus today because He loves you so much? And the seven spirits of God mentioned in chapter 5 are just representative of the Holy Spirit that is ever present. He is our comforter. Thank God for the Holy Spirit. The Lamb came and took the book out of the right of him that sat on the throne, which was God. And all the angels and the four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints. And I want to tell you, every prayer that you pray counts. Don't ever forget every prayer that you pray is bottled up in heaven, and God never forgets any prayer that is ever prayed. That should encourage us today to pray. If you really need God in your heart to life today, and things are just falling out of place with you, it's time to pray. If things are not going right, it's time to pray. It's always time to seek God because God hears our prayers. Uh, and in verse 9 it says, They sang a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and open the seals there, for thou was slain and was redeemed to us by God by his blood, out of every kindred, out of every tongue, out of every people, and every nation. He goes on to say in verse 10, And, and hast made us to be kings and priests, uh, and we shall reign on this earth. Uh, if you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, there's a time coming where you're going to be a king and a priest unto God, and you're going to reign with Jesus on this earth. And thus it speaks about the millennial reign. The millennial reign of Jesus Christ is going to last 1,000 years, uh, and there's going to be peace on this earth. Uh, and all the believers that believe God are kings and priests unto God today, but are going to be kings and priests uh, and are going to rule with Jesus for 1,000 years. Uh, that's going to be a glorious time. There was a large number of angels and the thousands of angels and the elders and they all fell, fell down and worshipped 
him that sat upon the throne in Jesus Christ in verse number 11. And they said with a loud voice, worthy is a lamb that was slain to receive power and glory and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. And every creature in heaven worshiped the one that sat on the throne and the lamb forever and forever. Folks, I want to tell you today, we need to worship God with all of our heart today. There's going to be worship in heaven. There should be worship down here. You should praise him with all of your heart because he is the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, that died for you. And to him that sits on the throne, we sing that song in church all the time. And to him that sits on the throne and to the Lamb, blessings and honor and power and glory forever. And that is my prayer today that you will be blessed by the Almighty God and don't forget to pray and don't forget that I love you and I'll be back tomorrow with you to share with you in Revelation chapter 6 and may the Lord bless you and may his presence be with you and surround you and his glory be all around you in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for listening today.